Hey friends and welcome back for another Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. I'm so excited about this haul in particular because one, I remember I got really good stuff, but two, I have a giant Ikea bag sitting here. I thrifted this stuff at the bins a week ago. So I can't remember what is in here at all. <laughs> seen part one of this haul so this is part two half the stuff I got my cost of goods at the bins it's three dollars and 49 cents a pound so my cost of goods ends up being about two dollars or so so I have a free people dress sitting right on the top you know how exciting that is for me so let's get into this haul this is I think an older free people dress but it's really great Someone told me to get my head, my eyes, out of the camera so it focuses on the tag and not me. Isn't that brilliant? Free people size, medium, kind of a peasant dress. Look at this. Oh, it's so good. It's got crochet lace down the front. It has an amazing bell sleeve, a little cutout opening in the back. Oh gosh, it's so, so good. I won't try it on. I won't try it on. <laughs> I don't need another dress. I'll probably list that around $40 with best offer. This is a band tee. I pick up all band tees when I see them. This is a Led Zeppelin tie-dye tee. It's in a women's size small. I list these usually um, around like $15. It seems like I can get about $15 for band tees. They're so popular. Everybody loves them. This is a Bolo brand for sure. This is Sundance. I was so happy to find these. Sundance is Robert Redford's brand. It's a catalog brand. It's quite expensive. Actually, the shirt I have on right now is Sundance, and it's one of my favorite, favorite shirts. I found this at the Salvation Army. They just put it out. It was like new, and I loved it so much. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go on eBay and try and find some other heavily embroidered Sundance shirts. No, people still want like $45 for a pre-owned Sundance t-shirt, so I'm gonna wait till I can thrift one again. <laughs> These are size small leggings, and they have this moto Detail, so that's a kiwi keyword you can use. M-O-T-O, -O, as in like motorcycle. Um, so super happy to find Sundance at the bins. Okay, I always give a little disclaimer about shoes. They now have shoes and handbags at my bins. It's still $3.49 a pound. I have a love-hate relationship with selling shoes. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I love the profits from shoes. I don't like the extra work, you know, where you have to kind of clean them. And so I'm trying to be very particular and just pick up shoes that don't need a lot of work. These are Allbirds. Um, Allbirds were a thing. They're sneakers. They say Allbirds right there. There, good job camera focusing. And they're like wool. And these were a hot bolo a few years back. These are a women's size nine. I don't know what Allbirds sell for now. They were hot a while ago, but I'm sure I can still make a little money on those, okay? These are American Eagle. I actually looked up comps at the bins for these. American Eagle, this is the newer, because it doesn't say American Eagle Outfitters, it just says American Eagle. So they used to say Outfitters, so that lets you know these are a little bit newer. Also on American Eagle, they usually have the name of the jeans. These are the mom straight jean. I looked these up because I cannot move my American Eagle jeans anymore. I just sold a pair of American Eagle artist flare jeans and I sold them for like 15 bucks. I used to be able to get 20, 25. I looked these this particular style up, mom straight jeans, and these ones are still doing well. Comps on these are good. So they're current style, the mom straight. So I think I'll still do okay with these. This I picked up and I just absolutely love it. It's a pillow sham with this floral and bird 
print and I'm like, that is so gorgeous. What is it? And it turns out it's Pendleton. Did you see my last video where I found the Pendleton blanket? That's probably one of the best things I found in the last video. And it was the same day, so I'm thinking, I don't know, they might have donated some stuff. I found a rolled up new in its leather carrier Pendleton wool blanket last week, and it's still on the website for $125. So, and mine's brand new with the tags and everything. So we'll see how this one does. I just thought that was cool. It's so fun because I don't know what's in here. <laughs> This is a cabbie skirt in a women's size eight. This is an older piece because this is their older tag, but it's a women's size eight, 100% cotton, kind of A-line skirt. Okay, what else did I find? <laughs> this is a Madewell shirt. It's a size medium. I'm pickier with Madewell because it doesn't sell like it used to, but at the bins, I'm okay flipping this for like $15, $18. See how there's like little, I don't know, fraying of the tag. Just a reseller tip. You probably all do this and know this anyway, but I have a lot of brand new resellers watching. So I try and give as much information as I can. So before I take pictures of the tag, I'm gonna get out my scissors and I'm gonna trim off all these little wispy things because someone might see that and think, oh, the shirt's probably not in great shape, but it's in great shape. The tag is just, fraying so I trim all that stuff off do you guys do that this is a classic shirt I better get it listed right away so let me give you an example of how I might list this how I might make a title for this with keywords and things like that so I always start my title the same way with the name brand and the size and who it's for so it'd be made well women's top size medium then I fill in as many keywords as I can with this I'd put blue and white stripe but I'm also going to put nautical and then this has got a boat neck so this is a very classic style of top I got this swimsuit because it's new and it's by Anne Klein and it's a size 10 and I think this is a very nice swimsuit my swim has been selling well I love selling swim. I can sell pre-owned swim too. You just have to be very careful to make sure it's very clean, that the gusset or crotch is clean. I take a photo of that in all my listings. This one still has the hygienic liner so I can list it as new without tags. I'm trying to get this thing <laughs> so I can show you. It's one of these like, oh my God. So look at how like low cut around the neck. So it's like a nice, high-waisted swimsuit and then this is a halter if it ties around the neck so that's that would look so good on someone not me I'd have pieces of everything flying out everywhere but <laughs> someone would look great in that these are Patagonia Capoline I always pick these things up I seem to find them a lot the Capoline is like their base layer long john stuff so these are a men's XL those are probably only gonna sell for like 20 bucks but I'm not leaving Patagonia behind at the Goodwill outlet the best stuff in Patagonia is, for me, the best selling stuff is like their outerwear, like their fleeces. I do, I can sell a pre-owned fleece for like $40, $45. These are American Eagle and they're a size 12, so a larger size and a great style for right now. I'm filming this in June, 2023. These are like a cargo pants, so, um, bigger sizes do well and that's a, a jogger comes down to elastic ankle. It's a jogger, so cargo jogger pants. More white, how do you think I did with this one? Prana, I love selling the brand Prana. Such a good seller for me, and this is a size large, and it's a white top, and it has like some pleating on the front. I'm looking at it, I don't see any stains right now. I'll get it under my lights and see. Why would I buy white at the bins? I mean, it's just not a good idea, but I can't help it. I love white. I wear a lot of white. These are cool. Look at the fun print on these. These are J. Crew size large, uh, like swim trunks. Reimagined J. Crew, inspired by the planet and its people. I like when I see that tag. Men's J. Crew. These are so cool, I think. Those are some cute swim trunks. Great pattern. 
Okay, friends, excuse the interruption. I'm interrupting this part of the video to show you just a few of my sales, things that I thought were interesting that might be educational for you. So this, I got this in a help see source wholesale box. It was Ralph Lauren Brands. And you guys were so helpful in helping me identify this. This is double R Ralph Lauren. Look at that tag, okay? So this is a vintage shirt. It's a men's size extra small linen shirt. And I guess this vintage double R Ralph Lauren is really good. This sold for $40 plus for $4.99 shipping. So keep your eye out for that specific tag. If you want, check out that video I did from Helpsy Source um, because there's a lot of, I think, interesting information just about all the many different lines of Ralph Lauren. I have a link and a discount code down in the description if you want to consider getting that box or any other box from Helpsy Source. This is just a really good sale. This is the brand Frame, which is a trendy, high-end denim brand. I have not had a ton of luck with this brand, you guys, honestly. The jeans retail for like $300. They just don't sell that well for me. But this was a romper, okay? It was like a utility jean romper in an extra small. I got it for $5 at a church thrift store. I remember finding it. It sold for $79.99 plus shipping. So the buyer's total on this was $94.54. I mean, that's an amazing sale, right? And I just want to also show you this one. This is from the bins. I'll try and show you more bin sales since I'm I'm sh I'm primarily shopping there now. This is a kids brand, Hannah Anderson, that does really well. It's one of the few kids brands that I'm willing to pick up. This I listed on its own. Okay, I didn't lot up a bunch of it because it was so cute and I thought really special. And there weren't a lot of them on there. Um, it's a six to 12 month strawberry dress and it sold for $17 plus shipping. So the buyer paid $22.99 for a little kid's dress. So, you know, I probably paid $1.50 for this at the bins. Um, sometimes if the Hannah Anderson's not that special, I'll lot up a few pieces, but if it's a really cute piece like this, now this was probably over $50 on the website. So they're getting a great deal and I made a great sale. Okay. Now back to the Pattern. video. So I go to Mexico, you guys, for this wedding. If you've been following along watching recent videos, first you heard me thrifting a lot, being like, I want to find a dress for the semi-formal wedding in Mexico. It's at this resort, it's on the beach, the wedding's in the evening, so I couldn't find one. Then I went to like Nordstrom, TJ Maxx, all those places. I finally found what I thought was a gorgeous Ted Baker dress. You guys all seem to approve. Thank you so much for your support in the comments. And then I've posted some pictures of PD and I at the wedding in the dress. Well, fantastic family time, gorgeous fancy resort. And then we essentially got stuck in Mexico. Like, <laughs> we got on the plane to come home. This is story time. If you don't like it, it'll just take a couple minutes. And you can fast forward to like, me getting back into the hall. Anyway, so we they board us on the plane. We're going down the runway. And all of a sudden, we sort of stop. And the pilot says, um... Oh, the like check engine lights on essentially. So we sat on the plane for an hour or so. They finally decided to deboard us while they checked the plane. Long story short, we spent all day in the airport, the little Mexican airport. They eventually canceled our flight. They shuttled us to another resort, which would have been really enjoyable for a little extra resort time in Mexico. I mean, who wouldn't love that? But we didn't know how we were getting home when. <laughs> so it was a little stressful. It ultimately worked out. We were essentially like stuck in Mexico for two days. So. I'm just getting back and and getting listings going again. I had so much shipping when I got back. That was crazy. So back in action. Now that I told my story, I need some water. So hold, please. <laughs> this is your friendly reminder to please give the video a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you love thrift hauls and bins footage and reseller content. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And the bloopers are always at the end of the video, which is you know, the best part of the video probably because <laughs> it's me trying to make videos and being, trying to keep it real with you. This, uh, why, why do I always find these complicated items? I have a few items hanging on my reseller rack right now that I literally 
can't photograph because I can't figure out how to get them on. Like I can't figure out this twisty sweater and I have this other top that's like, I just cannot even figure them out. This is a sports athletic dress by the brand Athleta, Athleta. It's obviously very strappy. It's a size small, I think that says. Um, it's got the built-in shelf bra, which I usually note in the description. This is a great time to list these athletic dresses because it's summer. Everybody's out there golfing and tennising and camping. And I'm Oh, these are Liverpool. I own some of this Liverpool. I know it's sold at Stitch Fix. It might be sold other places too. And um, it does really well in large sizes. These happen to be a four and they're called the crop. And they're like denim, stretchy denim, straight leg with a raw hem. And um, I'll probably only get like 18 bucks for these is my guess. I'll list them for $19.99 on eBay with best offer. And I'll probably get $18, $15. If you can find them in the larger sizes, uh, you'll get a lot more money. And then there are certain styles within the brand that do better than others. So if you're at the thrift store, check comps at the bins. I feel like these probably weigh 12 ounces or something like that. So I probably paid $3 for them. What is this? <laughs> this is Talbot's and it's a large. Talbot's has been selling really well for me, you guys. I don't know what is up. Are people just loving Talbot's again? Have you noticed that? I've sold a lot of Talbots recently, specifically in the larger sizes, but still, like I sold a pair of Talbots ch pink chinos for $25 plus shipping the other day. This I got because it's a classic kind of wrap front dress, a black size large wrap front dress. It has the tie here. Now this is what's called a faux wrap because it's sewn shut. So in my title and description, I put faux, F-A-U-X, wrap. If it had the tie and it opened up, that's a true wrap dress. Either way, they're very flattering, classic style, so they're usually a pretty safe pickup. Ooh, I feel some linen. I see some wrinkles. Sorry about that. Ooh, this is nice. I have sold this sort of thing so many times. This is Tahari. Tahari's not a brand I look for on purpose. But this is a linen top and it's an XL. So that makes it worth it. I have sold a lot. I don't know if they did like a linen line to Hari, but I've sold a lot of it. This is like one of my favorite colors, kind of a teal turquoise blue. It's hooded and it's a great size and it's linen. Now I'm gonna hold it up to the light. If you're at the thrift store and you have to pay like six bucks or something like this, you better do this where you check to make sure there's not little holes. Things like linen, things like um, merino wool, they get holes. Gosh, I better not try this on because what a great layering piece in a great color. Yes. Bras, bras, bras. I've been selling so many bras. They usually sell $15, $18. I actually got this one for myself because um, it's just maiden form, but I'll pretty much pick up any bra that's in clean, good condition in a larger size. Um, I, when I was looking for wedding undergarments to go with my fancy dress, this is probably weird to do, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> anyway, I realized I don't have a good strapless bra that fits me because I just keep expanding as I age. I exercise, I eat well, I drink a ton of water, but you know, I'm middle-aged. <laughs> these are men's Banana Republic large joggers. I just think these are such a nice, I don't know what, they're like a, a silky fabric. They come down to elastic ankle. They've got zipper pockets. I mean, these are just made so well. And men's stuff in general sells better for me. Like, I wanna try those on. They just look like they'd be so good. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is a really, really good find. This is a good brand to know. This is Toad & Co. Toad & Co is sold at places like REI and places that sell um, outdoor camping, hiking sort of stuff. So it's kind of like Patagonia, cool, K-U-H-L. It's, it's a kind of on the better tier of REI brands. This is a men's size large in this cool terracotta color button down linen shirt. That thing's awesome. If you ever are looking for something that I show you in these hauls, 
Down in the description section, you can open the drop down menu for the description where all the words are, <laughs> and you'll find my eBay store, Poshmark Closet. You'll find links to all my favorite supplies I use in my business. You'll find discount links. So any anything like that is down there for you guys, okay? This is gorgeous. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it's, it's gonna be good, okay? I haven't looked it up yet. But this is one of the things you learn, right? I've been selling for 12 years now. I've been thrifting my whole life. This says Yoon, it's a size medium. You'll learn like that looks like an interesting tag or you'll learn this feels like a really good fabric. So you'll check it out. I think that's one of the best tips I can give you. Brand knowledge is important. Knowing what's trending in styles is important. Knowing how to check comps important but knowing how to be out and tell that something is quality just because it's got a great feeling fabric or a design, whatever, watch this be like a $15 Target sweater. <laughs> you know, it's learning, learning to look for quality. Look at this gorgeous cardigan. It's a wool cardigan. It has this gray inset details, pockets, and then look at the tags on the inside. Now I'm showing you this stuff right out of a bag, an Ikea bag that's been sitting here for a week. It has not been washed or steamed. I will make this stuff look so good. This is a wool viscose tensile sweater. Um, it's a very beautiful sweater. I think it's gonna turn out to be something good. So maybe I'll pop up some thing if I learn something. <laughs> I love the style. So I'm doing my stain treating. A lot of you have asked me about this. This is just literally like an old container. What I put in here is hydrogen peroxide, blue Dawn dish liquid, and baking soda. And I just mix it up. I don't know the ratios. If that's super important to you, you could probably Google it. Um, I just make kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a paste. Then I just set it on the stain and I, tr I leave it here for like 24 hours. And I have had extremely good results with this. Like there's only been a few items that I haven't been able to remove the stain. Like it's a really good formula. So I have confidence I'll get some of this out. I love the style on these pants. I don't know what this brand is, but we're gonna look at them anyway. These are like a paper bag waist. My guess is now that I'm looking at them, they might have come with a belt, but you can use your own belt. Super high waisted linen wide leg pants. These remind me of like the 1920s. Oh, they're so good. The brand is called Current Air Los Angeles. I'm not sure what this will turn out to be. I love the style. I will use my keywords. I will say current air women's size extra small pants, linen, striped, high waist, paper bag waist, and we'll get those babies sold. I think they have a pleated front. If those were my size, they'd be staying here. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting thing I just wanna chat a little bit about. This is American Eagle super soft size medium. So I did a little bit of research on American Eagle the other day because like I said I used to be able to pick up the American Eagle jeans for five or six dollars and flip them for twenty five twenty dollars now I'm like why aren't my American Eagle jeans selling and then I'm going to the bands and I'm finding some really cute American Eagle tops and other stuff and I'm like you know Quimby you better do a little dive into this brand so I went on eBay I put into the search American Eagle and then I I clicked for sold completed listings. So it brought up all the American Eagle solds. And what I found is one of the best selling things within the brand American Eagle are their flannels. Even in summer, even right now, um, the flannels is one of the most popular items in the brand. I'm not talking big money, I'm talking like 15 or $20, but flannels are selling every day. So I'm like, that's probably a better thing for me to pick up than you know, some more American Eagle skinny jeans. What are these? Oh, some, this is a good haul, you guys. I have some, I have Sundance, I've got Toad & Co, I've got Plus Size, J. Crew, Patagonia, Pendleton, Madewell. Pretty good for the bins, right? These are Lululemon leggings. 
And um, they're, they look to be a high rise with a media pocket, so they're probably more current. I'm gonna look in the little pocket. Here we go. So these are a more current style, and I'll tell you why. These are size six around the size dot are a bunch of letters and numbers. And if I put that into Google, I can look up the style name for those babies. So that's great. Thank you so much for staying with me this far. We still have a handful of things left. I hope I get to hear from you in the comments because that's my favorite part of making videos. Here's another thing that I bought, taking a risk, hoping that my 12 years of reselling experience is leading me in the right direction because these are cool. So how did I know? Well, this is a cool looking tag, Patsy Sedon, and then it says England. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. They're a size 10. They're kind of a cool textured, textured fabric. Do you see that? Flat front pants with a side zipper, black tapered leg. So I'm gonna look these up and I'm hoping that there's something because they look interesting. They're viscose blend, dry clean only, made in the UK. Those just look like a nice pair of trousers. <laughs> What the heck is this? <laughs> and now we go from something lovely to Victoria's Secret Sport. <laughs> I get Victoria's Secret Sport if it's interesting and if it's super cheap. This is a metallic KG sports top. I'll probably get like $12 for that. Do you love when I go, ooh, my face tracking still works. Ooh. We have some soft surroundings in a size small. Soft surroundings is a nice catalog brand for mature women. It's pricey. This is a nice, it looks like it really needs to go through the wash though. This is a tunic sweater, a gray scoop neck, soft stretchy tunic sweater. Looks like it buttons down the sides and it looks like it has like dog hair on it. So that does not excite me. What else do we have here? Oh, this is more Hannah Anderson. This is one of the baby kids brands that I'm willing to pick up. Right now what I'm doing is um, every time I'm at the bins and I see some Hannah Anderson, I just buy it and then I'm gonna lot it up. These, these non-special pieces, like I know I got some Christmas tops last time. If it's a special piece, like a little dress or a cool print, I can sell it on its own for like $15. But um, just the plain pajama bottoms, they're usually organic cotton made in Peru. So I'll get like three pieces together and lot them up. Here's a bra by Victoria's Secret. They usually have the name on here. It's a 34A. Bigger sizes would have done better for me. Usually there's a name on these little tags, but um, this probably cost me like 25 cents or something like that. And those bras sell well for me. This is. Oh, this is, in a, this is a designer piece. I think it's vintage. Let's do our research. This is Pronto Umo. This is made in Italy. Here's a great tip. If it says made in Italy, just buy it. <laughs> no, at least just look it up because I buy almost everything made in Italy. The quality is amazing. I believe this is a men's linen shirt. It's a popover. It could be women's. I will do my research. If a shirt buttons all the way down, it's a button up or a button down, right? But if it only goes like halfway, it's a pop over, meaning you just pop it right over. Here I am again. Did I buy more American Eagle? <laughs> I did. These are perfect for right now. These things are awesome. American Eagle, these are paper bag waist with the belt, little denim shorts, super high rise with, with an exposed button fly. Someone wants this. I got myself some more linens. I'm so bad. These have a name brand on them. I should look at them up. K-R-E-I-E-R. -E -E These are vintage linen Christmas napkins I got for myself. But if I look those up and they have any value, I'll part with them. Last few items. I love you guys so much. The bloopers are almost coming. Why did I buy this? Oh, because it's a body. Okay, this is Universal Thread. It's Target. I love this line personally. This is a 3X and it's women's bodysuit. So I'm sure I can get like 15 for that. These are some J. Crew Slim Straight in a 32. These are men's J. Crew. I men's J. Crew sells great for me. J. Crew sells good for me if you just gotta find the right pieces. Straight leg, nice color blue corduroys. Yes, please. And then I have some amazing thing right here. <laughs> 
This is a vintage scarf. Look at these colors. Could you? And the, this is signed Vera. Um, this has a hand rolled hem. So when I have a scarf with a hand rolled hem, I note that because it's finer quality. I think this is Vera Newman, if I'm correct, but this is a vintage brand. I made a reselling mistake once and I have not forgot it. It was, I found a gorgeous set of vintage Vera linen napkins. I think there were eight of them. White with this beautiful floral print. But when I got to the register, it was at a thrift store that I'm not going to again because I did not have a good experience there. Um, and she wanted to charge me $12 and I was like, $12? Then when I got home and looked up comps, I'm like, some of these are pretty collectible vintage stuff. And so I probably should have got them for myself or to resell. But the scarf is, it is so light. It's a fantastic um, colorway and it's a cool vintage brand. So there you go, there's part two. I love you, I appreciate you. I can't wait to talk in the comments. What do you guys think of this haul? I'll see you next time, bye. <clears throat> I was like, why isn't this working? Uh, I didn't have it on. <laughs> They still let me make videos here on YouTube. I don't know how or why or maybe. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> um if you wanna no. Can you hear Torvald upstairs? My twelve year old is gaming. So if you hear little screams and stuff, that's why. <laughs> the white with the blue stripes and the boat neck. So it's very, it's very beachy, nautical. Sometimes you could, it also looks kind of like a Parisian stripe, but I'm not gonna go down that whole thing. Alrighty, let's get back. Back to it. No problem. I'm trying to get a lot of outdoor stuff. What is that little, there we go. Is that telling me that it's not focusing well when it gets all little? There's my big face, focus on it. <laughs> and, uh,